During the past 20 years, there was a slight hope for successful cold fusion reaction. Cold nuclear fusion was considered as pseudo-scientific research by most Russian scientists. By Japanese researcher Yoshiaki Rata created an electrochemical cell of a specific construction which revived some hope for the success of this direction. Japanese physicists put palladium and zirconium oxide into special cell, then pumped deuterium gas, heavy hydrogen, into the cell under a very high pressure. The authors of the experiment claimed that in the received palladium zirconium deuterium plasma nuclei, are located close to each other, which produced a cold fusion with helium and energy release. The scientists made a conclusion that the reaction took place after they took measurements of temperature inside the cell. After the injection of deuterium, the temperature increased from room temperature to plus 70 degrees centigrade. After the gas injection stopped, the temperature inside the cell remained higher than room temperature for 50 hours. The last measurement allowed researchers to make a conclusion that there was a cold fusion reaction inside the flask. Was there any reaction in fact? It's obvious that there was some physical process. As new element, helium in this case cannot be generated during a chemical process. Therefore, if it is not a full fusion, nevertheless the process inside the erratic cell is something more than a simple chemical reaction.